what's going on guys this is try back with another video um to start this video i'm gonna be talking about uh the arizona cardinals starting off 0-3 and uh, my reaction to this and uh how i think they could um uh, bounce back from it um to start we're gonna recap week three um against the bears they lost 16 to 14 don't think they should have lost that game i really don't think i really think that they outplayed the bears uh like straight up i think they outplayed them and they let the game go um i didn't get to watch the game personally i had to work uh, yesterday but um i did watch the highlights and and i've heard from people like how the game went and uh to i heard that sam bradford he started off pretty quick they they started off 14-0 in the first quarter and then this like the sink the the ship just sank from there the defense continued to get tired like it has been the last two weeks and the Bears finally uh, came back and won 16 to 14. From what I've seen from the last three weeks is that the defense is not the problem. The defense is not the problem. They've been playing great. If you look from the first quarter of all three games, they've all given up zero points, I believe. Zero points in all first quarters the defense has given up. And the problem is the offense. The offense won't move the ball. The offense can't get first downs. And I think it's it's solely on Mike McCoy. I really do. Mike McCoy, he's been fired twice in his career for a reason. And I think his his play calling it needs to, it needs to go. Um, I think we need to fire Mike McCoy now. I think um, it's time. It's time for him to go. Um, I know we had that spurt, that small spurt of offense, and we scored 14 points in the first quarter. But um, if you saw what we did, the defense was fresh. When we, when we were scoring points, when we were putting up yards, the defense was fresh. And the first quarter, once again, we put up zero, gave up zero to the Bears, who was coming off a great win against Seattle. Um, I think it's time. It's time to get rid of Mike McCoy. His play calling just doesn't fit our what we're trying to do. I think we're a high-flying passing attack. Um, I think... I don't, I don't think we're just a run, 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 run. I know we have David Johnson. I, I understand that. But I still think we, we have big play threat uh, receivers in uh, J.J. Nelson, Chad Williams. We have Christian Kirk. Um, I know Larry's not as fast as he used to be, but he's still a big play guy down the field. He's a Hall of Famer. I, um, I just think it's time. And I just heard today that Josh Rosen will be starting. It's, it's time. Uh, it's the Rosen era. Um, Sam Bradford had his chance. It's been three weeks, um, and he he blew it. He's just not the same. Um, I don't know if it's just the scheme that he's in right now, or if it's just the injuries that have caught up to him. But he's just not playing up to up to par. And over the last three weeks, he's thrown for like I, I believe like 200 yards total over the last two uh, the first two weeks. 200 yards total and two picks, no no TDs. So. And then last, and then la uh, this this week, I guess I would say since it was yesterday, yesterday, um, he started off great, two TDs, great, and then he crumbled, crumbled. I think he threw for 67 yards after those two after the first quarter, and he turned the ball over th uh, three times, two picks and one fumble. It was the last straw. And Steve Wilkes put in uh, Josh Rosen. He threw him into the fire. I mean, I don't know if I would have necessarily done that. It was. The game winning drives down 16 to 14. He threw him in with four minutes to go. I mean, and unfortunately, he threw a pick, but I mean, I, that's not his fault. Third and two, and you run the ball with Chase Edmonds. Where's David Johnson? Why is David Johnson not on the field on third and two? Third and two, and David Johnson's not on the field, and we run the ball with Chase Edmonds. See, this is what I'm talking about. I, I don't think Michael McCoy is the man for the job right now. And with Josh Rosen starting, I think it's time to get rid of Mike McCoy now. So that way, Rosen can learn a new OC now in his rookie year and continue to develop. I think if we keep Mike McCoy and we fire him at the end of the year and we get a new OC next year, it's just going to mess up his, his development, Josh Rosen. And I just don't think it's a good idea. Um, I think we need to continue to feed David Johnson. He's one of the best backs in the league. Why are we not giving him the ball? Um, I, I don't mean necessarily like carries-wise. I mean... Move him out into the slot. Move him out. Because that's where he's most deadly. He's most deadly when you get the ball in his hands. Just give him the ball. Um, I also think we need to get Larry Fitzgerald involved. Larry Fitzgerald's a 14-year pro. He's a three-time All-Pro. Walter Payton Man of the Year. 
come on, you gotta get this man the ball. Two catches is unacceptable for him. Unacceptable. He's a future Hall of Famer, and we're giving him two two catches a game. Um, it's just unacceptable. Um, lastly, I think we need to keep the the defense fresh. The de the, the defense has shown when it is fresh, they are great. They've been, the, our defense has been a top ten defense over the last decade, and we're giving up twenty five plus points a game, thirty plus points a game. That's unacceptable. Unacceptable. And there's only one reason for that because the offense can't get yards, the offense can't move the ball, get first downs, and the defense continues to get tired. Looking at our schedule, the rest of the way. As you can see, we lost the Redskins, lost the Rams, lost the Bears. I'm looking at Seattle week four. This is when Rosen gets the start, his first start. It's at home. I think Rosen can get this done. I think this is a game, very winnable game. I think the Niners is a very winnable game now that Jimmy Garoppolo is down with the ACL injury. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear that for you Niners fans. Um, uh, Vikings, it's gonna be a tough one. But with the team we have, if we can move the ball, it's doable. Look what look what the Bills did. The Bills won, and they're a terrible team. I mean, it was a trap game, but I mean they they won. Broncos, very winnable game. I don't believe in Case Keenum, not at all. I don't. Niners again, winnable game. We have a potential of going five and three if we win our next five. Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, very good quarterback so far. Chiefs are very high flying offense. Their defense is the question. Their defense is not good at all, and it's. I don't think it can get the job done. If we can put up points, compete with the high scoring offense, it's a winnable game. Raiders, winnable game. Chargers, winnable game. We just gotta stop Phillip in the high, high flying offense. Uh, Packers, we stop Aaron Rodgers, you stop the Packers. They have one of the worst defenses in the league. Lions, very winnable game. Falcons, they have a terrible defense with all the injuries. Offense is great. We can Like I said, if we keep the defense fresh, we can stop, I think we can stop anybody. To be honest, and the Falcons have a terrible defense with all their injuries. Um, Rams, we played them well. First quarter, it was 0 0 last, uh, last time, week two. 0 0. I think we can play just as good as them. We just have to put up points. Um, and then Seahawks, week 17. I'm telling you, all these games are all winnable games. I'm telling you, we just have to play well. The offense has to play well. The offense is the key. If Josh Rosen can come in, get the job done move the ball down the field, put up points, continuously put up points, and we continue to keep the defense fresh, I think we can end the season off. I mean, I think we can end the season with a winning record, still make the playoffs. The season is not over. I repeat, the season is not over. I understand we're 0-3, but the season is not over. For all you guys out there who think that the season is over, um, I'm just going to say, just continue to believe. Continue. If you're a true Cardinals fan, continue to have faith in them. I believe in Josh Rosen, what he can do. Um, I believe in the system. I don't believe in Mike McCoy. So uh, if we can get rid of him, uh, that'd be great. And get a new OC now, that'd be great. But I think if we get rid of Mike McCoy, I, I don't think Steve Wilkes is the problem. I think he's a great head coach. I mean, it's a questionable call at the end of the last game, putting in Rosen, but I still like Steve Wilkes. Defensive coach, like I said, defense has been great. Just keep them fresh and we'll be fine. I think we can end off 10-3. and three. I really do. I think we can end the rest of the season off 10-3. and three. And uh, we can finish 10-6 at, at, at worst. At worst. Or maybe at best. Nah. Nah, I, th I think we can go 10-6 at worst. I really do. If we can, if we can get the, the offense going, I think 10-6 and six at worst. But anyways, that's going to be it for me, guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell notification. Get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Uh, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Um, let me know down in the comment section how you think the Cardinals are going to bounce back from this. Or if they're going to continue to sink. And maybe end up with the number one pick at the end, uh, for next year's draft. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.